Hi, I'm Sarah Jossel, Sunday Times Stars Beauty Director. Hi, I'm Maria Hadzestefanis, founder of Nip and Fab. And today we are answering your most common questions about skincare acids. So we have gone onto the streets of London to find out exactly what you want to know. Take it away. Hi Sarah Maria, my question is, what do acids even do? I swear by skincare acids when I've got texture or dry skin and I just want to really bulldoze that dryness to sort of reveal that more glowing complexion. Hi Sarah, hi Maria, my name's Anna and my question is, what is glycolic acid good for? Glycolic is the number one ingredient for fine lines, wrinkles, pigmentation, blocked pores, really, it takes so many points. Glycolic acid for Nip and Fab is actually the product and the ingredient that it all started. Kylie Jenner got hold of them at a photo shoot. This is when she was 16 years old. Wow. She posted them on Instagram and then suddenly the whole world is um, <laughs> DMing us, what are these glycolic pads? Suddenly the product went viral, glycolic pads sold out for months. Hi, Sarah Maria, I'm Amy and I would like to know how to incorporate acids into to your daily skincare routine. Hi Amy, so it really depends um, how you want to use an acid. So the one thing I would always say, if you are gonna use a glycolic or a lactic um, or a salicylic, you want to use your cleanser, then you want to use your acid treatment, then you want to use your moisturizer, and then your SPF in the morning, and in the evening you would use your cleanser, then your acid treatment, then your moisturizer. But you love using an acid cleanser. When I first started using acids, I wanted to start super low. So the Nip and Fab Glycolic Cleanser has 2% glycolic. So a brilliant idea for beginners. Hi Sarah and Maria, my name is Christabel. My friends keep telling me that I should be using salicylic acid and I want to know what is it actually good for. Hi Christabel, salicylic acid is the best acid if you have large pores uh, or if you are targeting a breakout. Our number one product at Nip & Fab is the salicylic clay mask and the great thing about this is you apply it, you leave it for 20 minutes and it absorbs everything. Hi Sarah and Maria, I'm Eleanor and I was just wondering how acid would affect my skin because I have really sensitive skin so I'm just a bit nervous about the effects it might have. Hi Eleanor, totally understand where you're coming from. I think when you hear the word acid and sensitive skin, it can feel really nerve wracking. It's all about the dosage of acids. Uh, the salicylic gel cleanser has only half percent of salicylic acid and it has been developed as your starter cleanser. What you should do is try using it once, twice a week, see how your skin reacts yeah. and if it doesn't react and it takes it nicely, then you can keep on adding and ultimately uh, start using it every single day. Hi Sarah and Maria, I'm Emily. I'd like to know what are the common mistakes when using acids? Hi Emily, uh, the number one mistake is not using sunscreen the next yes. day because what acids do, they open up your pores, your skin gets exposed and if you're not careful by protecting with sunscreen, you may get pigmentation and sunspots. And I would say the other common mistake people make with acids is they use too much too quickly. So they get overexcited and they'll use an acid cleanser and then acid pads and then an acid overnight treatment mm. and you're going to see um, redness and think that this doesn't work for you. Start slowly and build up the tolerance for your skin. Hi Sarah and Maria, I'm Lila and I'd love to know what acids are best for darker skin tones. Hi Lila, so I know that there has been this myth sort of circulating in the industry that darker skin tones can't use glycolic acids, um, but that is completely untrue. What is your concern? Is it oily skin? Is it pigmentation? Is it fine lines? Um, so pretty much all acids will be great for you. Hi Sarah, hi Maria, my name's Jane and I am desperate to find out, do acids cause redness? Ah Jane, we get asked this a lot, but actually if you use the acid in the right way, you shouldn't be getting any redness, but even if you do get a little bit of redness, it might just mean that the exfoliation process is working really well. Salicylic acid actually has anti-inflammatory properties. Uh, we have had so many customers come to us and say, um, I had uh, sensitivity to acids, I've used the salicylic pads, and then my redness has gone down. Hi Sarah, hi Maria, I'm Francesca, and I would love to know, when I'm using acids, should I also be using an SPF? Yes. Hi Sarah, hi Maria, I'm Chris and my question to you is, who are acids best for? Anyone with skin. <laughs> <laughs> okay Maria, my turn to ask you a question. Okay. You're going to a desert island and you can only take one of your babies and I don't mean your, your teenagers, I mean one of these <laughs> babies. Which one would you pick? 
Oh, you didn't even have to think about it. Glycolic <laughs> Fix Night Pads. Yeah. This is the number one best-selling product, Adnip and Fab, and I can go to bed with it. Thank you so much for all of your questions. I hope we've answered them all for you. Um, but if you have got any other questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. Thanks, Maria. Thanks, Sarah. Bye, guys. Bye.